Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded semicircle with the center O is uh, fully inscribed in a triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length uh, AB of this triangle is uh, 7 uh, units, this uh, side length uh, AC is 8 uh, units, whereas this side uh, BC 9 units. And furthermore, uh, E and uh, D are the point of uh, tangency. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle. And now let's recall the Heron's formula. We are going to calculate the area of this triangle ABC by using uh, this uh, formula. And here we can see the area of the triangle is going to be equal to the square root of uh, S times S minus A times S minus B times uh, S minus C where S is equal to A plus B plus C all over 2 and S is called the semi-perimeter. And now let me go ahead and label uh, these uh, side lengths of the triangle. Let me label this side uh, lowercase uh, a, this side uh, lowercase b, and this side uh, lowercase uh, c. And now let's go ahead and calculate the semi-perimeter S. S is going to be equal to a in our case is 9, b is uh, 8, c is 7 divided by 2. So S is going to be equal to 24 divided by 2. So therefore our S value turns out to be 12 uh, units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC by just uh, filling in the blanks uh, for S value which is uh, 12 over here. A value is uh, 9. B value is uh, 8. And finally C value is uh, 7. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, S value, A, B, C value over here. Now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So we can write uh, 12 uh, times uh, 3 times uh, 4 times uh, 5. And now we can see we can break down 12 as uh, 3 times uh, 4. So therefore we can write uh, this thing 12 as uh, 3 times uh, 4 and then we're going to write down all of these uh, 3 times uh, 4 times uh, 5 and now we can see 3 and 3 and 4 and 4 means uh, we can bring this 3 and 4 outside. So therefore we brought uh, 3 times 4 outside and we are ended up with the square root of 5. So therefore that is going to give us uh, 12 times uh, square root of uh, 5. So thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 12 times uh, square root of 5. And here in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this uh, center O with this uh, vertex A. And as a result uh, this whole uh, triangle ABC has been divided into these uh, two triangles. This triangle uh, ABO and this other triangle ACO. So therefore we can write down the area of this triangle ABC is going to be equal to the area of this triangle ABO plus the area of this other triangle ACO. And now our task is to calculate the area of this triangle ABO and this other triangle ACO as well. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center O with these uh, points of uh, tangency D and uh, E. And we can see this uh, O, D is the radius uh, of this semicircle. Likewise, uh, O, E is the radius as well. Let me label uh, this uh, radius uh, lowercase r. Likewise, I'm going to label this uh, lowercase r uh, as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. As you can see in this uh, our diagram, these are our radii and these are our tangent uh, lines. 
So no wonder these angles have got to be 90 degrees each. And here's our next step. We are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABO. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And for this uh, triangle uh, ABO, this is uh, our uh, base of this triangle. And this uh, radius R is the height uh, of this triangle. So therefore, the area of this triangle AB is going to be a half uh, times base is uh, 7. And the height is our radius uh, R. And if we simplify that thing, that is going to give us 7 R divided by 2. So therefore, the area of this triangle ABO is 7 R divided by 2. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, other uh, triangle ACO. And once again, we are going to use the very same uh, area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And this time, uh, our base of this triangle uh, ACO is uh, 8 and the height of this triangle is uh, radius R. So therefore area of this triangle AC is going to be 1 divided by 2 times our base is 8 times our height uh, is R. Let's simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 4 times R. So therefore the area of this triangle ACO turns out to be 4 times R. And now let's recall once again this uh, equation. Area of triangle ABC is equal to the sum of the areas of triangle ABO and the triangle ACO. And we already figured out uh, all these individual uh, triangle areas. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Our ABC triangle area is 12 times uh, square root of 5 equals to triangle uh, ABO area is 7 or uh, divided by 2 plus the area of triangle ACO is 4 times R. And now I'm going to multiply across the board by 2 to remove this fraction and we can see the left hand side is going to be 24 times square root of 5 is going to be equal to this 2 and 2 cancels out. So we ended up with 7 R plus 4 times is going to give us uh, a times uh, r and here if we combine these uh, like terms that's going to give us uh, 15 times r so therefore we got uh, 15 times r equals to 24 times the square root of 5. let's divide both sides by 15 to isolate uh, r this is gone so therefore our radius r is going to be when we simplify and reduce the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 8 times the square root of 5 divided by 5 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius so therefore the area of the semicircle is going to be this area pi r square divided by 2 so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this yellow semicircle where our radius uh, r is uh, 8 times square root of 5 uh, divided by 5. So therefore we can write uh, pi divided by 2 times 8 times square root of 5 divided by 5 whole square. And here we can see the square of this uh, is going to give us uh, 64 times 5 divided by 25 or simply 64 divided by 5. So therefore we can write uh, pi divided by 2 times 64 divided by pi and if we simplify the right hand side that's going to give us uh, 32 pi divided by 5 and that is going to be equal to 6.4 times uh, pi. So thus the area of this uh, yellow semicircle turns out to be 6.4 pi square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 20.11 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.